ahead and get a full check of the forecast now. And Juan standing by with the very latest. What can folks expect this morning as they head out the door, Juan? A uh, pleasant surprise, I think, especially if you like the uh, cooler temperatures as our uh, much advertised front is uh, pushed through the region. And boy, temperatures are continuing to fall out there. We're all into the 50s right now, 54 degrees here in the uh, city of Corpus Christi, 58 out at the Naval Air Station. Our seawater temperature also beginning to fall as well at 73 right now, but it's 53 over in Beville, Mathis, George West, Orange Grove, up around Three Rivers. You're included 52 in Fadfurias and 54 from Kingsville, Alice, over towards San Diego as well, even 53 off in Freer, 57 off in Port Aransas. So everyone sharing the 50s and the 24 hour temperature changes are all significant across the region, anywhere between 10 to 20 degrees colder uh, than what we were at this time yesterday when we had plenty of humidity in place and uh, those are really mild temperatures to start off the day. The dew points were starting to get into the 60s and 70s. Those have been pushed back down into the 50s, so quite comfortable out there as far as humidity is concerned. But again, with these uh, dew points in the 50s, it's going to be a chilly day. We're going to continue to have pretty strong winds across the area, given the fact that we're going to hold on to cloud coverage as well. Uh, it's going to be an overcast, chilly, windy, damp kind of day today. Right now, these are the current wind gusts, and they're still going at about 30 miles an hour out at the Naval Air Station, 23 miles an hour over in Rockport, and 22 over in Robstown as well. And again, those are just going to continue to hold on to us. Most of the shower activity has pushed off into the Gulf of Mexico, but we got another batch of some showers that are moving into primarily a northern and central parts of Bee County from Pawnee over towards Pettis going along 181 out near Beeville and stretching towards 202. Skidmore Tynan, this is going to be headed in your direction over into Goliad. A couple of little showers lingering over Three Rivers and off into George West as well, but this is going to be pushing off towards 77 towards Refugio and again additional activity but more spotty in nature up around San Antonio, and this is just going to continue to push southward as we go throughout the day today. So we still can't rule off some shower activity. So of course the weather story of the cold front is here and much cooler temperatures as many of us are going to struggle to reach out of those 50s today. We might reach those lower 60s, but overall a chilly day. It's also going to be windy as well. We have small craft advisories, boaters and mariners do use caution. And again, only little sunshine is expected, if any, for today at all. Again, again the cloud coverage is really going to be prominent out there, but we will get more as we head towards Friday on into the weekend. And as we go back, our roller coaster of temperatures, as we go into next week, we're going to be right back into the 80s. And these uh, 50s and 60s will be a thing of the past. But again, hourly forecast for today, again, showing lots of cloud coverage. Again, late in the day, we could see a little bit of sunshine. Not much, though, but we'll struggle to top off in those lower 60s with those northerly winds at 15 to 25. Frontal boundary is way down to the south. Now we have cooler air that is filtering all across the Lone Star State and up into the uh, northern plains. That's where they're still holding on to temperatures into the uh, 30s and 40s across the area. There you go, 20s and 30s across the region. Today presents our best opportunity for some shower activity. Of course, we've already received some because as we head into the weekend, everything begins to dry out. So the seven day forecast shows 51 and 70 tomorrow, 54 and 75 on Saturday. Don't forget to fall back early Sunday morning and more humid and warmer as we head into next week. Sierra. Thank you so much.